If you have websites or if someone is managing websites for you, you definitely want to have a website monitor. You want to know when a website is down. Trust me, if someone is managing your website, they are not going to tell you that your website is down. So you need to keep track of this and let them know that there's an issue with the website and they need to fix it ASAP. OK, now, in this case, I'm going to show you a system that's called super monitoring and it can do a whole lot than just monitor a website. So you definitely want to check out this video. So let's get started. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, we are going to check out Super Monitoring. And if you want to check it out, link we provided in the description. And I do recommend that when you jump into the link, go into the features section. It can do a whole lot more than just check if a website is up. So you can check for your FTP, websites, links, specific systems like POP3, IMAP, and a whole lot more. So definitely jump into this link and check out everything that it can do, OK? Now, let me jump over to my dashboard and we're going to be able to view what I have connected already. So first of all, I am testing for monitoring for this website and I can check out the availability availability. I can check out the load time. So I need to, I can find out if the health is great and if everything's loading correctly. And if it's loading slowly, it's going to let me know daily health. And I have other systems like pop three to check other things. So to create a monitor is super easy. OK, so basically go ahead and add a new check. And in this section, we're able to create our own monitor. So in this case, we have the system that we want to monitor. So in this case, if you want to just check the website, go ahead, select one of these. Obviously, you should be using HTTPS if you have an SSL certificate installed. So just go ahead and add the link here for the domain. So I can just say test.com. The short name for this, I can name something like test website. OK, and I want to check what type, the availability, the content, the form, the loading time, file integrity, just a lot of checks. Like I said, it's not just going to check if it's working or not. It's going to check different sections of your website depending on the one that you choose. OK, and once I'm um, in this case, I'm going to ch check if it's up or down. And in this case, I can select the frequency that this is going to be checked. In this case, if I select one minute, every single minute it's going to check if my website is up and running. OK, so select the amount of frequency that you want to use there. OK. Then you have your settings for the basic HTTPS authentication. If you need that P12 certificate report on availability. Yes, I do server response timeout. So after five seconds, 10, 15, 20 seconds, it's going to alert you. So if it's less than that, it's not going to alert you. OK, and then you have your alerting options. So send an alert immediate upon detection of an event. So it's going to send it immediately if your website is down. If not, go ahead and disable this. Then you can send alerts after first event. So after a minute or every minute and you can select it there. Send alerts also when my website is back online. So in case you get an email saying that it's down and then you get an email in five minutes that it's up, then you go, oh, you're like, OK, everything is fine. But if you're getting up and down, you want to check what's going on with the website. And you can also select custom alerts. So a little bit more complex options here. So event detection and have your own type of alert here. Event duration of at least X minutes and then you have the alert or event end. So all those options are available there. And then you have where do you want to get alerted in this section? So you got send an email alert, send weekly reports, send SMS alerts. So if you have connected your SMS or if you if your plan has this available, go ahead and select this and send monthly reports. Once you have that done, go ahead and save it and you have your monitor up and running. But like I said, when I told you to jump in the feature section of super monitoring, you want to see everything that you can have monitored. So for example, if you want to monitor an FTP, so let's just say that you have, I don't know, a backup system with an FTP link. Well, go ahead and make sure that everything's working fine with this or a pop three SMTP, the IMAP, make sure that everything's working correctly. So maybe your emails are not going down Then you have those available there. Your DNS, your SSHS, your connect, your zip, your ping, your MySQL and all those available there. Once you select these, the options are going to change depending on what you need to monitor. OK, but once you have these connections connected, go into checks and you're going to have an option here so you can view this one. So let's go ahead and select this daily reports. I'm going to click on it. And first of all, the current status is OK right now. The uptime is one day, 10 hours. Last event was yesterday, so there was an event. And yes, it was down for a one minute duration. You can see right there. And I got an HTTP 403 problem. OK, so like I said, if this happens frequently, you need to make you need to take care of this. OK, then you have your filters on the left, your summary, your event, and you can simulate an outage. So just for testing purposes, you got your average response times. So here, here's the average response times for this. Response times last 24 hours and you got a graph right here that's really going to help you out 
monitor your site that everything is responding correctly okay and you have your options here for the settings if you need to tweak these so if you need to change something here you can go ahead and do so you don't need to delete it and then create a new one if you need to change the frequency you need you need to change it to five minutes go ahead and do so and save it super easy okay let's go back into checks let me show you a loading time go ahead and select this display report and obviously the report is going to be different because it's going to be based on loading time so let's go into loading time for here here it is we have the loading time and here's the average which is really slow in this section so yep that is slow i need to check what is going on there let's go back to checks this one is a this daily health i was going to check this out nothing going on right here and now let's go check out the status pages this is a really cool feature that super monitoring has and you can create status pages that you can share or quickly view so for example i created this status page and number of checks is number two so this is one of my status checks i can use my own custom domain so i don't have to use their domain you can see i added my logo you can change colors you can change the look of this with css and you can see current status everything is working fine total uptime these are the ones that i am previewing this in this status page so it's super easy to create one so if i go to add a new status page go ahead and click on it name it whatever you like use the subdomain if you don't want to connect your custom domain if you do so you will need to connect your dns to this okay language auto detect the title instructions the main colors your logo your custom css if you want to modify the look display summary at top for each check include all of this and then i can select what type of monitors i want to have on that status page so maybe i don't want to display everything that i have connected or maybe i do these are really great options to create especially when you have like two or three monitors you can have one just checking everything that you're monitoring that everything is working fine at a quick glance so it's a good option if you want to use this as that or just jump into that quick link and check that everything is going fine okay but basically that is super monitoring again i do recommend that you jump into the features page and check out everything that super monitoring can do okay so if you want to check it out the link we provided in the description and that's a wrap